In this video, I'm going to show you uh, another data operations within Power Automate uh, known as join. Okay, so if I click on your step here, let's manually trigger flow. And if I type in join, okay, and it's under data operations. So if I click on data operation, you'll see join. Now let's see what does it mean. So it says joins all the elements of an array into a string using the specified join with separator between each element so by the statement it means that it needs an input of an array variable okay now let's do one thing uh, let's make use of join okay and keep it aside but before that we need to provide some input array okay now how do we put an input array is just by using a compose action so if i put a compose action in compose action i'll select an input and I'll put an array. Now this array can be, say, a array of string or array of numbers or anything, okay? So let me put some value over here and put a valid array. So this is a valid array, okay? Now this input is a valid array. So let me rename this part and call it as where string array. Okay, so this is a string array from a compose action. Now, what does join do is basically it will input, it will take an input from this array. So where string array. So if I click on the dynamic value, I will be taking the outputs from where string array. Okay, once I get the output, I need to join it with something. Now, join that can be any characters if you want. Uh, okay, now let me put say dollar sign. Okay, now it can be a semicolon. People usually use it to append, uh, like say, uh, concatenate semicolon for the string of email addresses or generate a CSV file out of it. So if you want to generate a CSV file out of some characters or strings or numbers, then you can do that using this operator. So uh, just for fun's sake, I'm just using dollar sign. Uh, I'll save this value. Let's see what the output comes in. Once I save this, I will give it a test. Now this is a manual trigger, so I'll just run the flow. And click on done. Now once I execute this successfully, if you see the input, which is like basically an array of string over here. Now what does join do is basically takes that input and appends with a dollar sign. Okay, so if you see the output, this is the output. Okay, now if you see the show raw output, it is not just a string, but then it is a JSON. So remember that this is the JSON uh, value with body as one of the object. Okay, with that concatenated string using a separator. So this doesn't just output a string. Okay, it is a JSON string. So you need to be very careful when passing this value. So you can pass using, uh, say, JSON, pass JSON object uh, action within Power Automate, or you can manually use some other action as well to extract the value from this uh, join operator. So in summary, join is basically uh, taking an input of array uh, value, and then uh, with the help of a join with operator, it appends that particular uh, value uh, and then give the raw output in the form of a JSON. That's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching.